over how we configure a 22one x uh, on the Meraki switch and uh, integrating that with uh, the radius clear pass. Okay. Let us prepare you to own, protect, and master your network. Net prepare. First, you go on the switch's access policy. So let's call it uh, Meraki. And let's specify. So you could do it with the Meraki authentication, but we're gonna specify our clear pass. Let's get the clear pass IP. And let's do testing enable. Let's enable that. Enable accounting. Yes, we want uh, and let's specify multiple domain and ensure that's not an issue. And also, I'm gonna attach this link uh, into the description below. And also, you could Google it just MS switch access policy 82.1x. It's really good. I highly recommend if you want to do to configure it to go over all the different features. It tells you uh, each option. What does it do? Alright, so this is it. And this is basically all you need to do on uh, the uh, Meraki on, and also we need to configure the ports. So we specify the access policy. And what we need to do, so I'm just gonna remove the uplink and the, the access point that I'm using here. And you go under access, and in place of open, you specify which one you wanna configure. So what I'm gonna do is Meraki wired update. So as I said, also just to give you some explanation of like the, the options that we're doing here. So we specified multiple domain and hybrid authentication. You could specify to use single host, it means only one device, and you specify or Mac or 82.1x. But like I prefer multiple domain, it gives me a lot of options. And actually, if you read this document here, like, um, you know, this is the explanation is pretty straightforward. Okay. So let's go back to clear pass and here, let's add a service. So it's wired and it's specified Meraki wired. And you see here, like it's specifying IETF, MS uh, port type, it says Ethernet, and this is login user, framework user, authenticate only. And let's go under authentication. Those are the authentication options that we're gonna use. And we need to specify the source. This is gonna be the Active Directory, the role. The role, I'm gonna keep it as the, the one, the wireless one. You could see like we're specifying if administrator with TLS, you get the uh, admin TLS uh, role and the core and with the LSN core by itself, right? Enforcement and let's create an enforcement. Okay, let's name it Meraki MR and the default profile for it, let's do, um, where's the deny access? Deny access. All right, and for the rules, first that match, That's the, sorry, we need to use the uh, tips since we're using the rules. So here, since we don't have a lot of options, I'm gonna just match any, and I'm gonna specify if you're admin TLS, and if you're core TLS. So here, let's uh, put them set. Uh, oh, this I created in another video. I'm gonna show you how I did it uh, after I finish this. So set as VLAN 10, and I'm gonna add another one just if you're core. Or BYOD, so just um, let's say allow access. Let's save. All right, and so here, what's the default interface? Switch, switch ports. So they're on VLAN 1, so by default, you should get VLAN 1 if you're part of uh, core, and if you're not part of core, you should, you should, be, uh, you should be denied access. And I wanted to show you the uh, set VLAN 10 configuration and just put save. Okay. And those are the attributes that I've sent. Okay, so those are the attributes required. And it gives you the restriction and the option that they could be you could do with. And like this is standard type, VLAN, uh, media type, 802, do, 802, 802, 
and like the group ID is actually the VLAN ID, uh, VLAN number. All right, and now let's test. So let's check what happened. So the first one got rejected. That's normal because like uh, I didn't do a to do one x, and this is one that got allowed accept. Okay, so I'm gonna do now uh, with uh, TLS just to see if we're gonna get the VLAN the VLAN assignment. So we're gonna get be in VLAN 10. All right, uh, let's add now. So this is you see this is the default configuration, and let's see if it's actually to VLAN 10, and it did. Okay, so you can see here we're actually on VLAN 10, and this VLAN has been sent from ClearPass to Meraki. And let's see what's happening on the ClearPass. Perfect. And this is the attributes that we sent to Meraki. Please, if you like these videos, like and subscribe, uh, click the notification button, that would be really helpful. Uh, we are still a small channel. Let us prepare you to own, protect, and master your network. Net prepare.